This is a series of short videos each covering a different aspect of the Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall public beta. In this video I'm going to look at the cameras. So we're starting here at Cumberland Turntable spawning on foot in service mode. So I'm using the WASD keys to move around uh, but that's not really a camera as such uh, because we're on foot. What I am doing is I'm using my mouse to move around and when you do the in intro tutorial you can toggle uh, whether moving your mouse forward moves the mouse up like this or whether it moves it down um, and if you don't uh, like how it is you can go into settings and you can change it so when you're in this mode uh, when you're walking around on foot your access to cameras is limited um, as it would be on foot um, however uh, I will mention that if you right click the mouse you can change and remove the reticle and then your mouse is in mouse move mode right click toggles between mouse look like this and mouse move like this. So you can use that for example if we walk up to a, uh, a switch uh, stand over here I can either look at it or if I'm looking over there to see what's going on or I want to look at the junction and then I can move the mouse and I can click on it as well. So that's uh, moving that around. You've also got the mouse wheel which you can use to uh, control your uh, field of view or zoom you can also press the C key to crouch. While crouched you'll move slower. You can press the shift key to run a little bit or to crouch run. Uh, if you press C to come up and move you can press the shift key to run a bit faster. So that's that's pretty much moving around in, uh, in first person and what camera options you've got. When we take control of a loco things do change a little bit and you get some more options. So let me just climb in the loco, shut that door and we'll sit at the seat. So from here again I've got mouse look, right click, I've got mouse uh, mouse move which is quite useful because from here I can now operate the controls. The loco is not running but you can see with, without having to look down here I can maintain a view out the front and I can still operate the controls as I want to. I can't get to the brake because that's all the way around here but you could at least have some control and you can access the switches and so forth. So you've got uh, you've got good control uh, by using mouse look and mouse move. The other thing you've got access to is alternate views from within the loco, and these are accessed with the left and right arrow keys. So if I press the left key, it will start by giving me the right head out view. Now this may get changed in the future, but for now, this in the public beta, this is the order. So uh, if I press left again, and this is just a sequence that it will just cycle through, and you use left to cycle through one way and right to cycle through the other way. So left again, left, left, left. So you can see we're cycling through all of these different views until we end up back there. And again, if I press right, it'll take me the other way around. So I press left, press right, press left. So you can it's literally just moving me around the... Uh, around the view. If I go to a different view you can see I can I can look around and I'm, my view is uh, restrained in, in some cases. So if I come back and I go into some of these gauge views they don't move around so I can open them and I can look at things. Uh, what I can't do is move the view. There's no way of moving this particular view. So some of them you're locked, some of them you can move around. That's moving around inside all the cameras that are available when you're sitting down in, in a seat uh, inside the vehicle. Now that's for your interior views and you can get to your interior views by pressing the one key if you're in another view. So you've got exterior views as well. We've got uh, numbers 2, 3 and 8 uh, are the view number keys and these perform a similar function to Train Sim 2017 in that uh, view 2, which is the one we'll go to first, um, is our exterior spawn. So at the moment view 2 and 3 pretty much do the same thing. The final game that is going to change a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so for the time being just treat view 2 and 3 as two alternative view camera uh, positions that you can move around and they'll remember where they were um, and then you can you can position. So I press 3 it puts me there. I can now move this and I'll show you how to move it in a minute. I press 2 and it puts me there. I press 3 and it puts me there. So I can put these cameras in two different locations um, and then keep them there. And I... Okay, right, so uh, what can you do? Well, one thing you can't do is go up, unfortunately, up and down, control up and control down as they would be, um, aren't currently supported. Uh, but that is a known issue. So uh, the up arrow and the down arrow make the uh, camera go forwards and backwards. Left arrow and right arrow make it go left and right. Now you'll notice this camera appears to be a free roam camera. And 
That's not how it used to work in uh, Train Sim 2017. So in Train Sim 2017, this would be spinning you around sort of a bit like that. Um, and, and I'm doing that by moving the mouse at the same time to sort of uh, give you the same sort of effect. Uh, and that's called a boom camera. And the boom camera will be returning. Um, so for the time being, you haven't got that. You've only got this. What this camera does do is it stays pinned to the uh, pinned to the train. And what we'll do is we'll we'll jump onto a moving train in a minute, and uh, we'll we'll see that in action. But I wanted to do this on a stationary. Uh, have a quick look at all the cameras on the stationary train first, so that we could just run through them all. Um, now the view two is limited. Uh, I can only go a certain distance um, to the side or away from the train. So there you go. I've, I've reached my limits of how far I can go. Um, lengthways is you can go a lot longer to the side is 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 uh, is more limited and that's just so that you stay um, within the uh, train and what it actually does is it's constantly seeing which rail vehicle you're actually nearest and pinning itself to that so even though you're not doing anything and it's not affecting it you're still free flying around if you move near a different rail vehicle in your consist it will actually attach itself to that camera uh, which means that when you go around this corner, this vehicle will move left and right rather than your camera moving with the vehicle in front. It, it's a subtle distinction, but it, it actually uh, makes the it feels much more natural. So that's view two. You've got um, forwards, backwards, left, right. Uh, you've got the mouse wheel again to uh, change the field of view. Uh, view camera eight again is very similar, except now I can fly anywhere I like. View camera is, uh, eight is uh, is a free camera and gives you a lot more control, um, so that you can um, set shots up the way that you want them to be. Um, in your uh, when you're waiting waiting for trains to come past, um, remember you can only use camera eight when you're already sitting in the engineer's seat or in in one of the seats. That's pretty much the cameras. What I think the next best thing to do is to actually let's get loaded into a service, get it moving, uh, and then take a look at how the cameras behave on a moving vehicle. Okay, we are back now, and we are just taking a uh, we're getting this uh, coal train. This is the eastbound coal train service, uh, and we're just um, departing uh, through Mayersdale uh, on our way east, um, bound for Mance. Um, so we're sat in the cab again. I've got mouse. Uh, move mode enabled so I can operate controls as I want to uh, or I can switch to mouse look and I can look around again I've got the left keys so I can see what's going on on the train outside press the right arrow to get back into the uh, into the cab but the, ex the really interesting views I think are when we go to the exterior so if I now press the 2 key notice how we are still following the train but I can move this view around Okay, now here, I was going to show you this at a, at a more opportune time, but since it's happened, if this happens, press Control zero and it will reset it back. This at the moment happens if you get too close to the train, particularly if you get close to the couplers, so pull the camera back and uh, go through it and you'll be fine. But if that happens, press Control zero it is a bug, <laughs> and it's well known. <clears throat> so you can see I'm able to move the camera around freely. I can get uh, I can get some interesting views of what's going on on the uh, on the consist, and uh, we can really see quite nicely uh, what's going on just by following this view. And this is one of my favourite views because I can put the camera where I want. I felt, always felt the boom camera was uh, restricted me more than I would like. And I know other people really like the boom camera, so there's a degree of personal preference and what you're used to, but this is certainly my, my favourite camera. So what's the difference between the two and three cameras, which operate identically? So three cameras just at the back of the train, but otherwise doing pretty much exactly the same thing. It's just flying around and following it. One thing I should say, I guess, is what's the difference between the... What is this where it snaps? So if you look... There we go, we've trapped again. Control zero gets us out. So if you notice, I can see the train going round the corner. My camera is staying um, quite consistently next to this vehicle. If I was to fly away... And uh, get trapped again. Thank you. If I was to uh, fly away, 
and then we go around another corner. If that was the two or three cam uh, boom camera, then I would have a big boom camera effectively attached to that back wagon. And as this train went round the corner, I would eventually be pulled into the wagon because the camera is relative to a different one. But actually what's going to happen now is that I'm now relative to this wagon because it's the nearest one to me. And I maintain a nice consistent view um, as we're, as we're travelling along. So you can see as we come round this corner, we've been doing quite nicely. The camera hasn't moved in any way. Um, strangely to the train, it's, it's actually maintained quite a nice view. And I haven't had to do anything to attach it to that, it just does it automatically. So the 8 camera isn't attached to the train at all. The 8 camera is free floating. That's the main difference between the two. And I'm going to have to keep catching up with the train, getting ahead of it, putting it where I want to. But then also, it has that advantage that I can get different views. Um, I can right click again. Remember you can also press F1 to get rid of the HUD. So F1 again. So you can move this camera around any way you like. I'm using the shift key to accelerate. The shift key actually works in all of the views as well. So if I'm in the two view, I can press. <laughs> it happens quite frequently. <clears throat> you can press shift, and you can um, you can quickly move that two view where you want it to be. So if you stay away from those couplings, you won't have that problem. <laughs> but control zero will just get there, and it's the zero key on the top row of your uh, number pad. Uh, not number pad, sorry. It's the control on the top of your main keyboard, not the uh, not the numpad zero. Okay, folks, that's a basic outline of what you can do with the cameras that come in the uh, in the, in the uh, public beta. I'm going to go through some of this stuff again in another video where I talk about the controller, because while the cameras are the same, how you access them is slightly different, um, and I just want to explain how those are different on the controller. But for the keyboard and mouse, these are your options. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.